what up everybody so today we're back and uh, I'm gonna be giving you guys a tutorial today um, showing you an updated way to uh, port forward using Xfinity um, they changed their uh, their interface now you can't really do it through the router anymore you have to go to their X5 website and change settings there so I'm gonna show you how to do all that today and how to disable a very specific firewall which will prevent people from joining your Minecraft server if you have X5 so the first step is going to be to get your server loaded up, and that's what we've got here. Alright, and you can see this is the same server that we've been making in all the other videos. Um, then what you need to do is you need to figure out something called your default gateway. So to do that, you're going to want to open up a command prompt, and you can do that just by hitting start or searching CMD right there. And we're going to open up a command prompt, and we're going to type in IP config. Alright, and what this is going to do is it's going to print out our network uh, configuration and we need to read the default gateway of our computer which is 10.0.0.1 that's the IP address of our router so we're gonna need to remember that alright and we're gonna go into Chrome here or any browser should work and you want to type that in and it's gonna bring us to our, our routers uh, administrative interface you guys have probably seen this before um, Obviously, you're going to want to sign in. There's two ways to get to this website. Uh, you can do it through here. I'm going to show you why it doesn't work doing it through here first off. And, uh, yeah. So, basically, we're going to go down to advanced on the left-hand side over here. And then we're going to go down to port forwarding which is right here and it says over here advanced port forwarding we can't do it it says managing your home network settings is now easier than ever visit xfinity.com slash myxfi to set up port forwards among many other features and settings they removed the functionality here which I liked it was useful and it was easy now they're gonna make you go into their website you can do that by clicking the link here or if you don't want to go through all this signing into your router you don't need to do that now you can just go straight to this website and you're gonna to have to sign in on this website though using your Comcast login so it's probably going to be uh, whatever your parents have set up or if you have your own internet connection it's, it's whatever your Comcast account is and then the password for that it has nothing to do with the router credentials so we're gonna sign in and then we'll be back after that. Alright, now we've successfully signed in. Uh, this is what it'll look like after you successfully sign in. Um, what you're going to need to do is, I believe you go to View Network Details. Then you need to go to your gateway, the one that is your router. That's going to be this one. And then forget all the connected devices. You need to come down to where it says Gateway, uh, no, Advanced Settings right here, sorry. You click on that. And then you can come down to where it says port forwarding. It's a freaking process now. So what you have to do is click on this. And then it's annoying because you, if you want to add a port forward, uh, you have to basically pick, you have to figure out which uh, which one of these things in here is, um, is your computer. You're going to basically have to do that through trial and error until you find the one that pops up right here with the correct IP address of your computer that you want so that IP address would be whatever's right here is your IPv4 address and that command prompt we opened a minute ago It'd be 204 so if I wanted to set up a port forward to here I'd have to add the port forward and then I'd have to figure out which one it is it's gonna be this one right here because I know the name of this computer is master tutorial so we we'll click on that to set up a port forward for this computer okay and you would type in the port number here so for minecraft it'd be 25565 I already have it assigned to another port so it's not gonna let me do that but you guys would use 25565 I'm just gonna type in 25568 right now cuz it's not port forward and it'll let me do it um, you're gonna wanna do manual setup unless you click minecraft right here I think that might do 25565 automatically for you but I don't trust any of this stuff but since we know the port number we'll type it in yours will be 25565 remember I'm only putting an 8 because it's not gonna let me do 5 because I already have a port assigned but so I'll do 8 um, you wanted to make sure it's TCP and UDP now just so you guys know this number 
I'll go back to the port number for a second. This port number right here, this number, is what you get when you come into your server properties file. To edit this, by the way, because everyone's having problems editing this, you right click on it. You can, if it doesn't say edit here, click open with, and then just click notepad and click open, and you're good. Um, and if you scroll down, you should see server port right here, 25565. You can change this. So if I change it to 25568, well, that's effectively what we're doing right now. But don't worry about this. If you guys don't know what your port number is, this is how you check it. You would go into your properties and look at it. So we're not gonna we're not gonna we're not gonna save it. Um, so yeah, we'll come out of that and then we'll come back into here and pretend that's two five five six five and that's all you really have to do is then you just click next and it's gonna add the port forward now in a perfect world that would be all you'd have to do but because uh, when Xfinity launched their new XFi thing and they made everything go onto this website what they did was they, they added another firewall to your network and that firewall is going to block all the incoming connections to your computer they might get through once they might get through for a couple minutes and this has been a problem I've been hearing with a lot of people where they'll get someone in their server and then let's say their friend tries to rejoin later that day or the next day they won't be able to get in so it basically just blocks all the incoming connections. So after it's added, you can see now that it's in our list right here, and we can show the ports, and it's port forwarding the port that we wanted it to. So now we have the port forwarding set up to this machine. All right. So what we're going to do now is we have to go back. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to show you how to do is I'm going to explain how to disable that firewall that we were talking about. So if you see like notifications popping up saying this connection was blocked, this connection was blocked, that's because this firewall is doing that. So what you would do is uh, you're going to have to disable this if you want people, anybody to join your Minecraft server. If you just want to let five or six people on, you can manually whitelist all those IP addresses by clicking yes on those notifications. But this tutorial is showing you how to get rid of that functionality. So what you would do is you click on more up here at the top of the website. And then you'd have to come down to where it says my services you click on that and then you'll be in the x5 advanced security and it'll say enable you'll click on that and you need to make sure this setting right here is turned off it is defaulted on so enable for 24 7 threat monitoring and real-time reporting to your home network what that means is if any unsolicited connections try to basically connect to your home network what that means is you didn't initiate the connection which means you didn't go out to the internet and ask for someone to reply someone just replied without you even asking and that's what this is blocking because that's not normal internet functionality and that's normally like someone attack attacking you or doing something but when you're hosting a server in your house it's what you expect but Xfinity doesn't understand that so you have to turn this off and uh, after you do that and you save all your settings you should be perfectly good that's all that you actually have to do on this website. So then you can sign out, do whatever you want, and we'll sign out of Xfinity. So we'll X out of that, and you should be perfectly good to go now, as long as your port is open. And let me show you really quick how to check if your port is open. Just Google Port Checker. And the website that I use is called YouGetSignal.com. You click on it, it would open up this page right here. It's going to show your IP address and all that, so I'm going to have to blur all that out. You would retype in your IP address, or actually, you don't even have to retype it in because it should automatically have it there. It just has mine right now. So make sure that that IP is correct. It should be. You can also click a little button underneath right here. It says use current IP. That'll replace your IP address in there. And then you can come over to port number and you would check. It's 25565 open. And you would check. And it says port 25565 is open. And if that says yes, you're green. You're good to go. People should be able to get into your Minecraft server. Uh, but if that says closed, that means something blocked the connection and you have an issue. Um, but I hope this tutorial helped everybody. Um, that's pretty much it. I mean, it should work at that point. If it doesn't, definitely uh, drop a, a comment down below letting me know what your issue is and maybe we can come to a solution but I've had to walk about five or six different people through this in the last couple days so I feel like making a video better explaining it to give me somewhere to direct people as well as uh, hopefully some people find this useful so 
I have tons of other Minecraft tutorials on my channel. Uh, they're all in the description. If you guys have any questions about anything related to Minecraft, before commenting or you know DMing me on Discord, go down in the description and check and see if I've already made a video for it, because I probably have. And uh, there's also a playlist you can check as well. I'll link it at the end in the end screen. And there's tons of content on my channel you guys should check out. Also, if you guys are interested in joining a Minecraft Anarchy server, uh, it's on 1.15. There's no rules. You can hack and do whatever you want. Um, it's uh, mc.voizdev.com. So we have a lot of fun on there, and maybe you guys will join in. But that's going to be all for this video, guys. Uh, thank you all for watching. Subscribe and like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.